Okay, here we go. Booze House Tales back again with another little Whack Yourself Wednesday. Hope everyone is uh, well and good. And apologies, not done a Whack Yourself for the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, last week was at uh, a pub relaunch uh, down, well, up in Highgate, uh, the Animal Angel Inn. Um, so, yeah, shout out Paul. Um, sort, me out, sort me out with that. Um, lovely little pub. Uh, had a few uh, lovely, nice gin and tonics down there. And a few uh, parallels, which was decent. And then the week before that, I was feeling a bit, uh, a bit peaky. Down on allergy, but now I'm uh, back with a well with a new little whack yourself. It's been a few weeks, um, so yeah, thought I'll jump back into it and do another another little whack yourself. And also now got a different camera upgraded, got a little GoPro which I'm actually well debuting this uh, whack yourself on. So uh, uh, things are looking up. So you might see some more um, different kind of a uh, footage on the older uh, in the future. As of now, I've got this uh, uh, lovely little GoPro. Anyway, now get to the get to the whack yourself whacking juice um, so I was down at the shops today thought I'd pick something up that I've uh, well done a kind of version of this before but I'm not this one because this I think is uh, uh, brand new out so what I've gone for I've gone for the old uh, I've gone for Western's L Cider but I've gone for the old the vintage but this is the medium dry cloudy one so I've done before in the past just the normal vintage um, which comes in I think 8.3 um, but this one this is the cloudy cloudy one by Western's comes at 7.3 so people might kind of confuse this with scrumpy but it's yeah it's not scrumpy this is their uh, vintage medium dryer cider um, it actually comes in stronger than scrumpy so it also sort of scrumpy that old rosy shall I say um, so old rosy is like 6.8 I believe but this is a uh, 7.3 so this is a, a bit of a notch up it's not messing about but on here it's got a different like look it's partly uh, lightly cloudy sparkling is what the uh, uh, look description is on the back and the aroma is fresh and fruity but um let's uh crack this open and see what's uh see what it's saying i've got my blade so i'm gonna have to use my door keys to do it let's uh crack this open a bit of a, a bit of resistance on there that's all good got the old uh, little uh, little glass today the old uh, brew london glass oh it's lovely nice and chilled in there you can see the old uh, the old uh, air coming off it. That's lovely. The old oxygen there. Let's get a nice little pour. Yeah, and as described, it's uh, lightly clouded. It's so not as a uh, not as thick as the old uh, scrumpy when you pour that into the into a glass or into a vessel. It smells pretty fruity and fresh. Not wrong so far. Let's uh, give it a go. Oh, that is not that is lovely actually. For seven point three, it's quite, it's very light on the palate, especially when it's cloudy. You think it's going to be oh, a bit more heavier, a bit more, a bit more bodying out on that tongue. It's going to sit there for a little bit. It's going to be like oh no, I'm drinking a big drink on here. But no, this is, I'd say light and refreshing, especially coming so high with the ABV. 7.3 is um, no joke. But yeah, that is a, a lovely little drop. But if it wasn't so strong, I would say this is a uh, sessionable, but obviously it's not. Um, a couple of bottles of these and you're, uh, you're gonna be on a, a alphabet street, I'd say. Um, but yeah, it's a, a lovely, lovely little, uh, lovely little Swifter. I have to say, well done, Westerns. It's a great little drop. And uh, yeah, keep boshing. Next week, probably won't ever won't be wax off either because I'm going to be away in Canada, so I might be doing a, a Canadian whack yourself in some way or form. But I'll have this little GoPro with me um, to record some uh, little ditties out there. So maybe you might see some uh, Canadian overseas whack yourselves. And if anyone in Canada is watching this, uh, shout me out. Hook me up any places in Toronto or Montreal. Anyway, this is enough for me babbling about my holiday. I'm uh, out. See ya, bye.